Hey, what's up, Musers? This is John at Muse for You, and in today's video tutorial, I'm going to showcase the new full screen video opening animation, which I think can add a lot of uh, interest and cool features to your Adobe Muse website. So I'm going to show you a quick example. I'm going to go to museforyoushop.com, and I'll close this here, and I'll click on Shop Now, and then I have it right here. It's called a uh, video opening animation, full screen video opening animation. And then I'll click on preview. And then here we have it. So with this widget, what you can do is you can have a user click on this button where it says watch the video. And if I click on it, we have this video that pops up and opens up and plays in a full screen in the browser. And then you can simply click the X here to close the video. And here you can add three different images to kind of showcase the um, the video opening animation. So you have three images here. Um, I decided to use a, a Bali theme. This is a beach in Bali. Um, and then you click watch video and you can see a beach, a, a video of the beach. All right, very cool. So this can be really interesting if you want to showcase video on your Adobe Muse website. So I'll show you a quick example of how to use it. So I'll open up Adobe Muse. I'll go to file, new site and I'll click OK. I'll open the site, <coughs> excuse me, and then I'll go to library. Um, after you've downloaded the widget, you simply double click on the .mulib file to install it, and then it'll be in your libraries panel. If you don't see the libraries panel, just go to window and then click on library. Um, so I'll click on library here in my panel section to bring it back up. And then I have it here, it's the video opening animation widget. So to put it on my Adobe Muse website, I simply click, hold, and drag, and place it there. And then here's the widget. So as we can see, it's just blank for now. And we can customize everything. So if I go back to this site, we can customize the border here. We can customize the text of this button where it says watch the video. We can customize the color. We can even customize this white border on the left and the right of the video and the color of that X as well. And we could change the border size here and kind of, we could even remove the border, border, excuse me, if we wanted to. All right, so uh, I'm gonna go back to my Adobe Muse website. So here it is. And basically if we open the widget options over here by clicking the circle with the blue arrow, and I'm gonna move this over to the left because I think my uh, face here in the corner is gonna get in the way of the widget options. So here are the widget options. And here we can see we have select image one, select image two, select image three, and we can add a background image that covers the entire background of the Adobe Muse website. And then here is where we can select an MP4 file for the video. We can select an uh, OGG file and select a WebM file. Uh, it's recommended that you select um, all of these files so that they work on all browsers. All right, and I'll show you how to convert them to these different formats uh, in this video tutorial. And then for the border styling, we have the main border. We can change the color of that border to any color. And I can change it to yellow or uh, green, or I can put in my own customized color here in the hex section. Or if I know the RGB code, I can put it in here as well. Uh, I can change the border width to 10. Uh, I could even say zero. And then we have no border. So I'll, I'll set it to 10. And then we can set the border type. We have a few different options for the border type. We can make it a dashed border and kind of, you know, just give some styling to it. All right, very nice. I'll keep it solid for this video tutorial. And then in the image border styling, we can change the image background, background color. So we can change um, that darker blue that's in there to like a red. Um, it, it won't really make a difference when um, you put an image in there, but uh, in, in a border, how can I say it? Uh, when when having a dotted border, this does make a difference because in between the, the dotted um, border, this color will appear. So like if I do like a dotted here, um, oops, uh, no here where it says image border type in the image border styling, if I do dotted, we can see that now it's blue and white. And let me change the back, this back to solid. But here we can see it's like a dashed line around the images. Um, but I'll leave it at solid. So if if uh, if you do have kind of a dotted or a dashed border, this image background color will show up in that dashed or dotted border. And then we can set the image border color so we can do red. 
And this is where like if you had a dotted, it would be blue and red. So like if I did dotted, I'm gonna have a blue and red uh, border. All right, but I'll make it, oops, I'll make it solid again. And I'll make the image background here, I'll set it to white. Yeah, that's fine. We can do that. And then for the video boarding st border styling, it's the same for the images, but when you click to preview the, the image, um, or excuse me, the video, uh, it has a few, it has, kind of, yeah, it has a border around it. So um, this will change the color of the border, and I'll get more into that when we add the video. And the same, we can change the, the, the styling of the border and the border width. And then we can change the play button styling. We can change, yeah, the play button styling. We can change the color of the play button. Uh, we can change the width of the play button. We can change the border type of the play button. We can set the radius of the play button. Originally, it's like an oval, and so it's at 40% radius. But we can make it 100 um, or 0 to make it a uh, perfect rectangle uh, button. Or we can make it even more uh, oval by setting the border radius. And then we can use a typekit font, any typekit font from Adobe Muse or that we add to Adobe Muse, we can use it here simply by in, uh, placing the uh, font family in this section here. Or we can erase it to use a Google font and you can choose from over 700 uh, Google fonts here. Very good, I think yeah, it's around 700 um, or 650 to, or more than, I think it's around 700. Yeah, but you, there's a lot of fonts here you can choose from. All right, very good. So the next thing I'm gonna show you uh, I just went over the widget options. So the next thing I'm going to show you is how to add a video and how to convert it to these three different formats, so MP4, OGG, and WebM. So I'm going to go to uh, just download a video. So I'm going to go to Vimeo free stock footage, and we're just going to randomly select a video. So I'm going to go to free HD stock. It was this first one here, free HD stock footage on Vimeo. I'll click there. And I'm gonna randomly just search for something interesting that catches my eye. Very good. So I'm just gonna scroll down here and I'm gonna select this violin contrabass string bass. So I'm just gonna click there and I'm gonna play through the video, just kinda of showing the violin. If I was working on a violin website, this would be a great video. So I'm gonna pause it there. And then to download it, I simply click download. And then I want the highest version possible. So I want the HD 720p. And I'll just click there. And now it downloaded the violin contrabass string .mp4. You want to make sure that the video is in .mp4 uh, because that's what we need to convert it to the different file formats. So I'll minimize this here. And I'm just going to um, go to my downloads folder and just place it in here in my example folder. Very good, now it's in there. Now the program that I want to use to convert it to the .ogg and the .webm is a program that I like here. It's called uh, Miro Video Converter, and I'll leave a link in the description area below. And if you just click on it, um, I've already installed it, but I'll leave a link in the description area below. And now I simply want to click, hold, and drag this video into Miro Video Converter. And then over here where it says Format, I want to click there, and I want to click on Video, and I want to convert it to OGG Theora. So I'll click there, and then I'll simply click Convert to OGG Theora, and then it takes a few seconds to convert. For longer longer videos, this, this takes a moment, uh, but because it's only a 16 second video, uh, it's fairly quick. Very good, so we converted it to .OGG, and now I want to go to vi uh, Format, uh, video again and I want to convert it to WebM HD again we want the highest quality version of our video so we want to make sure it's in HD so I'll click there and now I want to say convert to WebM HD and again uh, it's going to convert it and it's fairly quick because it's a short video and we'll kind of let it load here all right, very good. So I've converted it, converted it, excuse me, to .ogg and .webm. So now I want to click on Show File here, and I want to look for these files. So I have the violin contrabass uh, right here .webm and the violin contrabass uh, str string here .ogv. So I want to click there, and I want to click, hold, and drag, and place it into the folder that uh, I'm using for these videos. So you can see here it says .ogv. 
and we simply want to click once on this file or we can right click and click on um, no it's not right click and then rename you just click once on the file and now you can rename it and we want to change this dot OGV to dot OGG very good and then the, uh, the OS will ask us do you want to keep OGV or use dot OGG so I want to say use dot OGG so now this is a dot OGG file and it works like a dot OGG file and then we have the dot WebM and the dot MP4 so these are the three files you need to add to your to add to the video opening animation widget so we have them here so now I'm just gonna go back to the widget and I'm gonna go to the widget options right here and here where it says select mp4 file I'm gonna click add file and I might have to search for the file here but I click add file and it's just loading here so now I'm going to click here it's in here and here very good I have my three files here so we can see here that it only lets us select one file because it's it it only it's made only to be able to select the .mp4 file. So I double click on the .mp4 file and then the .ogg file, I click add file. Then I select the .ogg, then the webm, click add file, and I select the webm file. And as we can see, we don't have any, any images here. So I'm just gonna add some random images. I'm gonna click add file. I'm gonna go to some images I have here. It's actually of a beach of the Bali beach and I'm just going to select them here add file and there we go so I selected three files for these images in here so now if I preview this uh, this in, in Adobe Muse if I go to preview uh, we can see it says watch the video so if I click on it we can see we have the violin video playing very cool so as you can see it's a really nice way to showcase a video in your Adobe Muse website and it was actually inspired from the Moments app. So I'll show you real quick. This is the, the Moments app. I haven't used it myself, but um, it's kind of inspired off of it. Like you can, if I scroll down, if you click watch the video, okay. you have that. Let's say you're some with friends. You have that video opening and playing. And then you can close it and it just closes out. But you, as you can see, there's that cool video opening animation there. And this is the same effect here with this widget. So it's a lot of fun. It's a great way to showcase your content. And there's a lot of options in the widget options. So as you can see, we're in preview mode and you can preview it in preview mode, or you can go to uh, design, hit command shift E or file preview page in browser. And you can click on watch the video uh, to preview your uh, video in Adobe Muse. All right, and it, look, it looks really actually a little bit better in, in the browser than it did in the preview mode uh, as far as the video. So. Uh, looks good, um, works really well. I, I'm really excited about this widget. And as you can see, once the video finishes playing, it closes out itself. And it's just a great way to showcase content. I think in the preview mode here, when you uh, click on watch video, let's try that again. Um, yeah, sometimes in preview mode here, it doesn't work. I'd recommend using Google Chrome. Everything just looks more uh, like it will when it's on a live server. So click watch the video. And there it is. I think it's really a great way yeah, to showcase content or video on your Adobe News website. And you can replace these with any images you'd like. Um, you can change the color of the watch the video button. So I can you know, say something like, uh, you know, we change it to orange. Um, and we can change the font of the watch the video button. So you can see, um, we can see it there now. We can change the border to dotted just a bunch of things. If we wanted to make it square instead of rounded, we could do that. We could change the color of this border here. And yeah, just have a lot of fun with it. So I preview it, as you can see, the font is different. And even the, the uh, circle here with the X changes to match that radius of the play button as well. And there was one more thing. Oh yeah, I wanted to showcase um, the border of the video. So where it says video boarding, border style, border styling, let's say we changed it to dotted um, and we could change the width to 10. And then I'll go to file uh, preview page in browser, command shift E, I'll click watch the video. And as you can see, there's now a dotted border around the video. Um, yeah, so it's dotted, the video plays, you can close it out. And just a lot of styling you can do with this to really match your website and make it really great. 
Um, so again, I'm going to change the border to a different color, maybe this lighter blue, and I'll preview it one more time. Oh, the last option here we said we see it says background image optional. Um, it's the same thing as if you were to add a full screen background or fill your browser with an image. Uh, this has the same effect. So if I select like you know this image here, basically all it does if and I hit Command Shift E, it just fills the background with an image. And if you watch the video, it's the same effect. Um, just something there if you wanted to add a full full screen background through the widget, you could do that. Or you can just do a full screen um, slideshow in Adobe Muse, or you can just go to browser, add image, and fill the background with an image. So that's why I, I said this to be optional here. All right, very good. I think I've gone over uh, enough information there. Uh, again, I'm just going to preview one more time. I'm going to change this to solid here. And I'll hit Command Shift E. And there's the widget. Watch the video. The video plays. And we have the X here. We can change the border radius as well on the X, change the color there, and the border radius on this button here as well. So again, uh, to get access to this widget, just go to museforyoushop.com. And I'll close this here. Click on Shop Now. And it's right down here, Video Opening Animation. You can click on that. You can preview it again if you wanted to you know, check it out yourself. And everything here, I have the widget options. You can take a look at them. And you can check out the features as well there. And you can, uh, when you click on here, this video, it will go to this video that I'm currently making. So uh, thanks again for watching. Uh, yeah, I enjoyed making this widget. you creating this widget for you. And uh, yeah, Adobe Muse is getting really, really interesting. I would stay tuned. The developers of Adobe Muse are doing an incredible job with adding new updates. I can't say much about it um, until it's released, but they are doing just amazing things, things that I've thought for a while that they should do. And I can't say, and it's kind of weird that I can't say anything about it, but um, it's just kind of like, um, yeah, they're, they're working on it. And the stuff that's gonna be out for Adobe Muse is kind of like a game changer. And yeah, I see it being up there with like WordPress, like you know how so many people use WordPress? I see Muse tracking that in that direction because it's becoming unlimited and the things you can do with it is so awesome. So I'm so excited to be kind of on the cusp of this technology and providing these videos on how to use it and these widgets to make it even cooler and better and more fun to use and make your websites more amazing. So thanks for watching. Um, any feedback or comments, leave them in the comment section below. I'd be happy to hear from you. Um, from yeah, from you and um, yeah, I'm just enjoying this whole process. Um, yeah, check out my Patreon page. Check out museforyoushop.com. Um, I do have free, free resources on that website, um, and it goes to my shop as well. And I have some resources in the link section below. So, and I am looking to do a Google Hangout soon, so we can all talk about Adobe Muse. And if you need any help, I'd be ha happy to answer any questions. So, thanks again, everyone, for watching and. I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you.